Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today we visit the Cortland Roller Rink. It's new and improved, and it's blood orange season, so I prepare an appetizer and cocktail. But first, with the holidays behind us, recycle properly. Kim Lewis is the environmental educator for the green team here in Mahoning County. And we had the best discussion when we were talking about this segment. And I think that people really mean well when they go to recycle. Mahoning County, here's a fun fact, is the only county in Ohio that actually provides curbside recycling free to the participant. The only district in the state of Ohio that provides that. I know, I mean, people don't realize that. We are really lucky to get that oh, service yeah. done, but uh -huh. people do it improperly. You know what, when you put those bottles into the bin, remove and discard the lids. And those just are gonna have to go in your garbage, right? Yeah. Once we get all of these things assembled, mm -hmm. where do they go? Where do you guys take them? Well, there's a journey, there's a journey. And so everything first goes to a transfer station, which is actually located at the Carbon Limestone Landfill. Now there, the initial sorting is conducted. So they take out the items like, I hate to say it, but things like lawn chairs and office furniture, and then that material goes on another journey. And it ends up in Akron at a place called a MRF, M-R-F, Material Recovery Facility. And that is where the line is, where you said it's like Lucy and Ethel at yeah. the candy factory. Yeah, it is. And you just, they pick through everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Everything gets uh, tipped on the floor and then put on a big conveyor belt. And then there's some uh, mechanical sorting, like with the magnets and the eddy magnets, some lasers, but most of this is done by people. We have like a plastic container here without the lid, so this is proper. Uh-huh. Is this valuable? Well, now that is a number two high density polyethylene plastic. And the primary end use for that is not a new bottle. I'll tell you that. It's plastic lumber. And so, you know what? Right here in the park, you would see examples yeah. of playground equipment, park benches, picnic tables made from that material. So we can resell this? Yes. And what about glass? Okay, glass. The old glass is primarily manufactured into new glass, and you have to be really careful with the glass, Casey. Only bottles in jars, no lids, and nothing like um, window panes or aquariums or okay. uh, yeah. Pyrex. Dishes. Nothing like dishes. No. Yeah, nothing no glass like dishes. that. Dishes, metals. Okay, so we do take the food cans yes. and we take the beverage cans, and again, the old steel food cans are made into new ones. And that's what we call closed loop recycling, when your old product is made into the same thing again. What about cartons? Cartons, a lot of people are confused on the cartons. That is actually a material we didn't take in the past, but we do take now. And so it does have a poly coating, but that can be removed during the uh, manufacturing process when they make new paper products. So we do take cartons. If it's one of those cartons that has a plastic lid, yes. again, throw that lid away. Styrofoam is never taken anywhere. So if you get an egg carton or a carryout container, those must go in the garbage. And styrofoam, you know what, avoid it. If anybody wants to know how to avoid it, I've got tips on how to avoid it. Call me, you know, go exactly. on my Facebook, check I mean, with me. It seems that, you know, we're going for a carton of eggs. You know, usually there's the cartons like this, yep. which are recyclable. Yep. And even if it's a dollar more, not a dollar, a couple pennies more. I try to always get that because I know styrofoam is bad. Yeah, we've been recycling 
paper products forever and we still are so your newsprint your magazines phone books uh, paper board like the, the yeah. egg carton you mentioned and cereal boxes all of that can be recycled old into new the only thing that we can't put in our curbside is the cardboard and I know with especially the pandemic I'm getting a lot more boxes because a lot more thing is being purchased remotely sure and just break them down and take them right here to your recycling centers and they're all over the place here's something it says no plastic bags we're here at the Boardman Township Park recycling area and look what's right here I know right here I know is a plastic bag now what's gonna happen to this Kim well let me tell you since I'm here today I'm gonna take care of this but Usually I'm not here and this is what would happen. This would end up at the MRF on the conveyor belt. And, and they'll just toss it. It'll just go right off that belt into the landfill bin. What other pet peeves or what else should we be aware of that we should avoid when we purchase for containers and things like that? Bottled water. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there is no reason we should be drinking bottled water in those single-use containers. Yes. Just try to, try to forego the bottled water, those single-use containers. I mean, that's the most inefficient way to, to consume water is to get it in a single-use bottle yeah. that, you know, that plastic bottle is made from oil that they drill for and you use it once and Come on, there, you know, there's no logic in it, Casey. We have a lot of drives coming up, electronics. The Household Hazardous Waste yes. Drive is actually um, coming up very soon. We've got the, um, uh, oh geez, the tire recycling yes. drive. And then a lot of the townships are having metal appliance drives and even paper shredding events. But anything like that, that anybody is interested in, they just have to contact us. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I'm all about local and my bank is Farmers National Bank. Farmers is the true hometown bank in the Mahoning Valley, standing strong for our local families and businesses since 1887. Farmers is also future focused with a lab branch, interactive teller machines and best in class mobile mortgage app. We've all learned the value of local relationships, businesses, and communities. Switch to Farmers. Kamara Jewelers is the place to buy an engagement ring because we want a relationship with you that lasts a lifetime. Your commitment with her is the same commitment we have to you. We want to sit down with you and teach you about diamonds so you're educated on what you're buying. We have the largest selection we ever have, which is the largest in the area and at the best value. And if it's not something in our case, we could always custom make it. We can make any dream come true. Get real, get Kamara. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Island Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. 
So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. I'm Elizabeth Bernard. For more than 30 years, I've provided our Valley with sound legal advice. My associate Jennifer Rigetti and I will be your legal representatives if you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident. Don't try to handle it yourself. We'll navigate the red tape of dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the obstacles that you'll face. Remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases, and hiring a lawyer does not mean you have to go to court. Call attorney Elizabeth Bernard, local legal experience for more than 30 years. Family-owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full-service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Woolen. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Well, I am happy to report that it is blood orange season once again. Right after Christmas, beginning in January through about March, you are going to start seeing a lot of blood oranges in the stores. And I love them. I juice them like crazy. I use them in recipes. I even freeze my blood orange juice. So I have it throughout the year. So I'm going to make two really easy recipes with blood oranges. One is a great appetizer. It is avocado toast with blood oranges on top. And then I'm going to make a cocktail. It is my blood orange arita. For this recipe, you'll need one baguette, two avocados, one shallot finely chopped, one cup of chopped cilantro, two blood oranges peeled and sections chopped, salt and pepper to taste. Well, I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So while it's heating up, what we're gonna do is get our baguette toast ready. So I don't want a lot of bread because it's not a sandwich. These are little appetizer sizes. So slice it on the diagonal about a quarter of an inch thick. So all I'm gonna do is use this brush and just dab them with some olive oil and then just take the salt and salt and pepper each slice. So I'll finish this up, get these prepared. They're gonna go into the oven for 20 minutes. So the baguettes are in the oven toasting. Now I will get our topping ready. We'll take the avocado. Now remember, a lot of people, there's like a thing called like avocado hand where, you know, people get hurt Look how beautiful these are. Now I'm going to add these shallots and really make sure they're finely chopped. I put them in my mini chopper. And instead of garlic, this kind of gives a nice flavor to the avocado without being overpowering. I'm just gonna add a touch of olive oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to, to mash it. Now I have cut up two whole blood oranges. And each section, I tried to get as much as the pith off as I could. And then I just chopped them into small pieces. Now I add the cilantro. And you just stir this together. See, look how pretty and little these are. Perfectly toasted. Now you just take a little bit of the avocado, you put it on top, and then you sprinkle it with your blood orange mixture with the cilantro. Isn't that a nice little presentation? Isn't that a nice little bite? Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so good. You are going to love this. I love cocktails made with fresh juices and blood orange is one of my favorites. As you can see, I was a little busy last night. I think I juiced like two bags. And then I think vodka or tequila works best. So I'm gonna call this my blood orange Rita. Now Rita really means it's tequila, but you could use vodka too. But I'm gonna use tequila. All right, so all you need, uh, look at my fancy cocktail shaker my mother Jelaine got me at a garage sale. All right, so we are gonna need two ounces of tequila. So two ounces in, two ounces of the blood orange, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, and then one teaspoon. This is a great sweetener to use instead of simple syrup. No calories, natural, it is agave nectar. So about a teaspoon of that. Eek, that's it. That's all you need for this fabulous drink. So now I am going to shake it up. And just so I don't want it too, too heavy, I like to add a little bit of sparkling water on the very top. There we go. And then look at how pretty. You put a little slice of blood orange on top and there you have it. Your blood orange Arita. Cheers. All these recipes are available on my website, caseymaloneshow.com. You are absolutely going to love them. Cheers. Take off with the Case Malone Show. Woohoo! Donate now. GavaCamp has a generous family that will match every dollar you donate. Help us build a barrier-free educational camp for our friends with special needs. Visit our website or call for more details. Giving is living. I am back with Rude the Dude at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And get ready, the fall menu is here. Yeah, you know our fall menu's out now. Like I said, we uh, brought some new things on, some old favorites. So we're just gonna try it out. Along with that, we have some of your favorite local craft beers, the pumpkin beers, the fall beers. Uh, we've extended our hours for football seasons back, some of the local high school games, professional games. So we're just getting ready for the fall and winter season. And remember, it's never too soon to start thinking about the holidays. You've already got class reunions yes. and showers over in the wine and spirit room. So if you wanna book your party, now's a good time to do that. Yeah, we can cater it at your house or cater it here. So if you wanna take the night off and come in and let us do the cooking for your parties, we can do that. And if you need any information, of course you go to their Facebook or their website, magictreepubandeatery.com. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood, don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering. It has transformed my basement and expanded my family's living space. It's easy to clean, withstands flooding, and will never need replaced. You will love your basement. Pebble Stone, the best flooring system. Call today to save 60% off your new Pebble Stone floor for a limited time only. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. 
Well, after about, what, two years of inactivity? Yeah, a couple years. The Cortland Roller Rink is back in action and it's under new ownership with Sean to Stone. And like, the champion roller skating rink burnt down. Yeah, a little over a year ago. Chris, it was, I think, Christmas Eve, maybe, uh, last so year. This so this is the only skating in Trumbull County. Yes, you are correct. And boy, is yeah. this a popular place. Yeah, not bad for a Saturday afternoon. And, uh, now, Sean, what do you know about running a roller skating rink? You're looking at it. I've done it for one <laughs> month. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing, but I'm having a blast. So, good news is I got people that have been around roller skating forever working here. That's so, right. I mean, you've got to go with the professionals. That's right. So, what led you to buy it? So, it was for sale? The, the rink was for sale, and I had a real estate agent uh, looking around for property for me because I had just sold a building, um, and I needed to do a like-kind exchange. So, this was the right size. I came up and looked at it, thought, what could it be? Open up the doors. I go, this has to stay a roller rink. So now, we're in the roller skating business. <laughs> You've really done a lot of upgrades. Uh, yeah, and we're not done yet. So it's it's too much fun. It was, I mean, the boat the building had good bones. I call it. You know, yeah. it, it was solid. It's a good structure, brick building, but it was it was everything was forty five years old. So we just had to rip everything out and start from scratch. I mean, as far as the the, the, the interior, and yeah, the flooring, new carpet, you know. uh, new ceiling, all the new lighting, and this is the first step of it. What is this floor size? This floor is, it's a, it's a competition floor they call it. So it's 180 foot long by 80 foot wide. So it's one of the biggest in the country. There's probably, there's not as many skating rinks left anymore. I would say, I think they're down to 1600. Because wow. if you think about it, it was, it was real popular in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And the average owner now is probably 70-ish years old. Yeah. And the kids would rather sell this out to a grocery store or a Rite Aid or a, you know, a church and just have it done instead of operating a rink. I don't remember there being referees. You know, well, the no, one that, guy, that's just what do you they, call them? They're skate guards. That, and, okay. and they're out there in case anybody would fall down or get or, or need assistance. They help the young kids learn how to skate. Um, they're there in case there's a spill, you know, anything. They're kind of so just watching out. You don't have to have like a lifeguard certificate or a skate guard certificate. No, they take some sort of test, I think, through the RSA, yeah. the Roller Skating Association. Um, but and you're a member? Oh gosh. In good standing? Great. I, I paid the dues. <laughs> I did. And I learned all about music. You coming from the radio, I've had to pay yes. those dues up. So um, that's, uh, you know, to play the music oh, in here. Oh, oh hey, this guy, we're getting photo bombed over here. You're loafing on the job. Uh -oh. Yeah, he is loafing. That's you're right. right. That's right. The oh. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm just happy people are coming out. I didn't know when I was building this place out, I'm like, I hope this works out. Because it could have been a storage facility real quick. That yeah, well, easy. I mean, I think, and especially, you know, opening up during COVID and, you know, the pandemic. And, and we're following all the mandates there are. Like, when, I, if yeah. you notice when you come in, you have to get your temperature taken. There, yes. there's, there's sanitizing stations all through here. You try to do your best you can to follow a six foot rule. It's a little tough on the skates, but there's, there's pretty good separation out there. But it's considered exercise. That's so. why you see no masks on, well, on the participants. Well, I'm gonna tell you, after a couple rounds, I, I would have had a hard time yeah. keeping a mask on, because you really do work up a there's sweat. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And, and here's the good part. Like, you see, half, some have it on, some don't. If you want to wear a mask, <laughs> wear your mask. <laughs> kids running. You know? These kids are crazy. They don't stop. It, it, it's just fun to see people yeah. smiling and having fun again. And I think that's why we're having such a good time right now is everybody's been penned up for a year. These kids have energy. They got to get it out. So come on up and, and skate. You know, what I remember is I don't remember if we skated to popular music. I think the guy was always playing the organ. He might have been. I don't remember that. now. There was like a perch in board. That's right, there was. And he would be up there, you know, yeah. the Wizard of Oz. It, and I'm wondering, I see that you have an organ. Yeah, I, to, to just to kind of keep the past alive, I, I created kind of a, a mini museum, a little memorabilia section. And now, is that organ working? It, it, it does to a point. And, and we thought about having an organist in for certain, you know, different sessions. The, the, the purists, if you will, the real yes. roller skaters. Yes. And we have this adult 
they call it adult skate, but it's, it, you know, it's kind of like 70 plus. They've uh -huh. been doing it forever. They like that because they skate to the beat of the organ, like the different chords. The, and, the, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. they don't like all this, you know, new music. And uh, I tell you what, the most fun those things would be like 80s, 90s. Like everybody's, it's retro. We, even though everything's modern, I try to keep that retro thing when exactly. we skated and you're saying these yes. parties are KM Field and, yes. you know, and so like all the games and everything I put in here are all, there, there's stuff that we would have played. So if, if somebody brings their kid, it, they can play against them. Like, hey, I'll take you on and, you know, uh, ski ball because they played ski ball. There's so many things to do here. It's just a big building. It's wide open. I mean, and it's it sounds like you have got some excellent ideas. Well, hopefully, I'm going to make her help me get some bands in here on Thursday right. nights. We're going to start, start music. Yeah, we want to start adult night on Thursdays uh, now that the curfew lifted. And thirsty Thursday. That's right. Well, I'm sure the. Portland is thrilled oh, to have this building occupied. What a great town. I'm I'm from Mahoney County. I grew up in Canfield, live in Boardman now. It, 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 this Cortland, it's such a good community. I mean, people are really, really just genuinely good folks. And, and the draw is actually a little bit even bigger than that, though. I mean, roller skate, people drive up a half hour easy, but we've had them. Detroit's been here, Erie, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. I was they're, behind they're with a lot of Pennsylvania, a lot yeah. over the state yeah, line. A lot, yeah, a lot, you know, the other states are a little tougher, you know, on, on the rules to let people engage, you know, in, in having skating. So we're, we're catching others. But really, most of it's, you know, Trumbull County. And, and, you know, great folks. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.